Hi guys, today we're taking a look at some new upcoming content for Plants vs Zombies 2 China. A few days ago, two new trailers were released that gave us a bit of a showcase of what we can expect in both the annual Lunar Zoo year event and later on in the year. On the table today is a selection of very awesome content including several new plants and zombies, a new two player game mode and some Zombot battles. Obviously, we're going to start with the new plants, just be aware we haven't had any information about their abilities or anything yet we only have their visuals and names the first one has a very long winded name this is twin year of the rabbits this is a cute but strange looking plant it looks more like a cupcake than a plant i imagine its attack will involve the bottom part of the plant bouncing the top part into the zombies perhaps it explodes and has knockback if you look at the new home screen featured in the trailer you can see a better example of how twin rabbit is likely going to work next up is P Pharmacist. You can see here P Pharmacist is holding a potion bottle that can be flung at zombies, transforming them into pea plants. Essentially, I think this will work similarly to Witch Hazel. Plant number three is Pike Porcelain Flower, who is quite literally straight to the point. This plant is armed with a javelin that can be thrown at zombies, dealing damage. There is an IRL Porcelain Flower, also known as the Wax Plant. This is due to their unusual texture. The flowers grow in clusters and are a common house plant. There are also two new zombies on the way but we know even less about these as these were only seen for a brief moment in the trailer. We have some sort of tree zombie as well as a new year themed guardian lion that looks like it has an imp riding on its back. Moving on to possibly the most interesting piece of upcoming content though, PVC2 China is going to be introducing a new game mode two-player mode. This is expected to be released during Springeding 2023. Unfortunately, the gameplay wasn't on screen for very long, so a lot of my thoughts will be speculation. So first off, the lawn has been reduced to just three lanes instead of five, but in turn has been increased in length from nine columns to 13. This is because as the page scrolls down, you'll notice that there are two lawns stacked on top of one another. One for the blue team, one for the red team. On the left-hand side, you have seed packets for both plants and zombies. There is a score meter in the center and at the bottom you'll notice some special abilities. One looks like it increases zombie speed, another one increases zombie health. I was actually having a hard time trying to understand what was going on here. Maybe you are both plants and zombies. You are defending your lawn, but also attacking player two's lawn at the same time. The second theory is perhaps these numbers aren't the cost of zombies. They could just be the amount of zombies. So 16 chickens, for example. Perhaps the team who defeats all zombies first wins. The special abilities at the bottom may be a way you can sabotage your opponent by buffing the zombies. In any case, I'm interested to hear what you guys think this new two player mode could involve? Let me know in the comments below. The final bit of upcoming content I would like to share today is about Zombot battles. If you've played PVZ2 China, you may know that a couple of worlds don't have Zombot boss fights at the end of them. Instead, it's a different type of boss. However, both the Steam Ages and Renaissance worlds are going to soon be getting Zombot battles. From this island image, we can see that the Steam Ages Zombot may be train themed, which is obviously very fitting. We also have some silhouette images that look a bit different. Some have apparently been scrapped to be redesigned, meaning the finished version could look completely different. The Renaissance Zombot design is a bit more mysterious as we've only received silhouette images, but according to the PVZ wiki, it's somewhat based off the Machina Magnifica from Futurama, which in the episode called the Da Vinci Code is apparently Leonardo da Vinci's lost invention. Anyway guys, that's about it for upcoming PVZ2 China content at the moment. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below but other than that remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons turn on notifications and if you'd like to support the channel further check out my patreon page by clicking on screen or through the link in the description okay thanks guys bye bye